Dakota. We're gonna cross that sign right there, and then we're gonna be headed to Rapid City for the second event, Yoga Wine Night tonight at Black Hill CrossFit. Get on your knees, came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the head out the head out the big shoes, check out the crease. Blow like I'm big foot, step on the beat. Make a man's run till he step out the keys. When the whole place scream, gotta get out the get out the Today's Earn Your Grapes workout, you will need a pair of dumbbells and a jump rope. We are going to do five rounds of 12 dumbbells shouldered overhead, 24 mountain climbers, and then 48 double unders. For the dumbbells, just jump them, pull them up to your shoulders. You can do a little dip, drive, and dip for a push jerk. It looks like this, where you press yourself under. If you feel more comfortable to push press, dip, drive, dumbbells overhead. So again, Looks like that for a push press, and like this for a push jerk. The purpose of the push jerk is to pull yourself underneath the dumbbells so the range of motion is still the same, but you're using your legs to assist you to finish those reps. So 12 tumble shoulder overhead. Then we'll go to the floor. We'll get into a plank position. Sorry, you're gonna have to change the position because I'm gonna be on the floor. For the double unders, if you're doing them outside, I recommend having a mat or something to jump upon or on. The double unders hold the bottom half of the handle. Think of jumping nice and tall, small bend or jump bounce in the knees. I like to keep my elbows by my rib cage, rib cage, forearms or hands in front of me, and it's a big flick of the wrist versus elbow or arm. So it looks like this. Big jump, flick of the wrist. Two rotations of the rope until I hit entropy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, go over there. So make sure your dog isn't around. So big jump, elbows on the rib cage, flicking the wrist. The goal is to bounce up. Think of pushing away from the floor versus bringing the legs in front of you or tucking the knees behind you. If for whatever reason you don't have double unders, you can do double under attempts. So try to include as many double unders and then it gets some singles in there. If you don't have double unders, then go to single unders, but double the reps. So times two, some people like to do times three, but again, the goal is to move quickly. We do have five rounds of this workout. So make sure you find something that's sustainable for your goal and do that for this workout. For the mountain climbers, you'll get into a plank position. Hands will be directly underneath the shoulders. Then you'll bring your knees, alternating legs, up to your belly. So it looks like this. I start in that plank and then bring my legs up, alternating knees to my chest. So it'll be one, two, three. So 24 reps would be essentially 12 reps, one on each side. The thing, if you want to challenge yourself and make it more difficult, bring the legs on the outside of the leg. So it'll look like this. It's a bigger hop. I'm increasing that range of motion and the reps will take slightly longer. So again, 24 reps. Then next we have double unders.
but this is just this is a peanut butter one. These, yeah, this one is my favorite. They're both amazing. This one was my first favorite. So please, I don't care. Touch it. Peanut butter lover, and then that's the peanut butter uh, chocolate pretzel. I'll try to the pretzel. It's like a mouthful. Literally. <laughs>